Dracula. Santa Claus. Superman. We are here to celebrate the life of my brother, Seth Lewis. I know that it's been hard for all of us here to accept his death. I know it's been hard for me. And I also know that he could be kind of eccentric at times, especially in his final hours. Among his last wishes included a Lego Tyrannosaurus Rex and chocolate fountain for the funeral. Oh, and also for the reception afterwards, a hologram of Elvis Presley and a disco party. Yet despite, or maybe because of how eccentric he could be, is what made him so special to all of us. You all can't even begin to understand how hard it is for me to lose a brother. But as he told me just a few weeks before he died, Gorman, there are whole other places out there, places beyond the realm of human understanding, Places that don't follow our rules and don't ever care about following our rules. And someday I I'm going to go there. And I truly believe he finally did. Rest in peace, brother. Rest in peace. Hey, Gorman! Sorry about your loss. Officer Cortland, good to see that you made it. You know, Seth Lewis was one of the greatest secret agents I ever saw. He's also a good friend. Yeah, Cortland, he was. You know, if you're looking to find out who your brother's murderer was, I do know a guy. Here's his card, he's a detective. He might be able to help. Thanks, I, uh, I appreciate that. You take care of yourself, Gorman. All right, everyone, silence, silence. It is time to make out terms of will. Gorman, Harold, Ginny, Corey, Frank, Jerry, Stephen Keane, Mike, Edwin, Gaspar, Jamaican guy, please report to my office. That is all. Oh, thank God we can leave. All these clowns at this party are scaring the hell out of me. Come on, Ginny. Now it is time to split possessions. For Frank and Jerry Lewis. He gives his clock. It can't actually tell the correct time, but he says it has a lot of sentimental value. <clears throat> to Corey and Mike Beneducci. He gives his conch shell. If you blow this when danger is near, someone is sure to come to your aid. That is all he was willing to tell me. Very well. To Harold, he gives his cranium kadoo board set. Some of the pieces are missing, but he said you wouldn't mind. To Stephen Keane, he gives this fish. He said that you would understand. I don't understand, but thank you very much. To Gorman Frederick Lewis, he gives his pet teddy bear, Charlie. Here you are. Oh, Seth. Oh, and also twelve million dollars to be divided equally amongst the family. That is all. Twelve million dollars? Where the hell did my brother get twelve million dollars from? Uh, I am required by U.S. government not to say. Anyways, goodbye all of you. Wait a minute. Uh, Gregory! Gregory! Uh, Gregory! Gregory! Ah, Gorman, what is it that you want? Look, I was thinking about it, and I realized that technically, you are Seth Lewis. You're part of his personality split into pieces. So why can't we use you to bring him back to life? Ah, 
I was afraid that you would ask this. Look, that isn't how it works. You can't just use my personality to make Seth Lewis. I'm a completely different person. Well, what about Captain Crooked's How to Cheat Death or, or Time Travel? Gorman! It's not going to work. You can't bring Seth Lewis back from the dead. I'm sorry. I know it's been hard, but you're just going to have to accept it. Goodbye. Well, maybe I can't bring Seth back to life. But at least I can find his killer. Well, Captain Crooked's How to Cheat Death doesn't tell me how to bring Seth Lewis back, but perhaps you can honor his memory by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please, just do it for him. He, he would have been happy if you had. Thank you.